Welcome back to another Good Mythical Morning. Uh, we are Rhett and Link. Let's not talk about that. Everyone's talking about the PlayStation 5, and they're talking about the Xbox One X, but there's something that came out that I think is a little bit better than both of those combined. That yeah. is... Mario Game & Watch. Color screen. Color screen. <laughs> <laughs> color screen is in giant letters for some reason. Yeah, co color screen! <laughs> For, you know, those of you old people who played on the old black and white game and watch. I don't know anybody that owns a, a game. Oh, TechWiz. TechWiz is like a hundred. <laughs> he's got the original he's got the original <laughs> black and white game and watch devices. So I really do like the plastic that they put on here. It's really detailed. The, the clear plastic layer actually has print on it. So you can see it. Yeah, you can actually see that the, the logo on there is moving. So yeah, what does it got? World 1-1 one, one on the front of the box? Yeah, and on the back it has... Castle Koopa. Yeah, that's like, it, that's what Nintendo does. Nintendo does detail. When you got a package like this, it, it's it's meant to hang from a J-hook at the store. So it's not like locked behind so, the counter, even though it's 50 bucks. They're gonna be on these like, those locks that they have at Walmart where you can't get it off the yeah, table. Yeah, probably. <laughs> You're like, just cut it off. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, someone's just pulling it. That's all they're gonna do is really they pull hard. it right <laughs> off. If you're gonna hang it on a J-hook, I guess putting that detail with this clear plastic on the outside is actually pretty cool. Uh, and a nice little touch, especially if you're gonna pay $50. Listen, you're paying $50 for this. I don't think it's worth $50 if it's just a device itself. It's $50 to collectors. Yeah. You know, it's a limited time only. And for most people that do collect this stuff, what they're gonna do is they're gonna keep it in the box and they're gonna display it. They're not actually gonna open it like we're doing. We're idiots. We could be selling this for $120 yeah, on no. eBay. What's wrong with that? I mean, we need the money. We got a we got a one year old, got diapers, you know. So go, you know, do us a favor. If you're gonna do Amazon shopping. Click the link down below. And start shopping there. It's not gonna, if you're already buying stuff, you might as well click our link. You're helping us out. Formula ain't cheap. All right, so let's take this decorative plastic that Tina likes you off like there. It? Oh, I like it. No I'm just saying that's <laughs> something you noticed and pointed out to me when I first yeah. picked it up. I just thought it. I thought it was cool that they did that because most people are just gonna throw away the plastic anyway. That's just the plastic by itself. So it showed actually Super Mario Brothers, like the title screen for the, the first Mario, but the actual gold box, it's the the ball game with Mario. So that's cool that it like kind of hit it, and then when you, it's like a little Easter egg when you open it up. So actually, how small is it? Well, let's find it's out how small right? it is. <laughs> by opening, ooh, you know what? Check this out. This is this, These are the Easter eggs I'm talking about. Okay. Here, right here, let's show the people. You pull it out. And what does that say? It says thank you. Special, special thanks to you. Like that, that's what I'm talking about. And it has that's Mario's on it. This box is all about detail. I mean, I don't know $50 in detail again, but it's about detail. Let's see if there's anything on the other side. No, that's actually just a serial number. I think that's why some people like Nintendo. Yeah, like Nintendo, Nintendo, you know, it's got a special place in your heart. And Nintendo's yeah, like Disney yeah. now. You can buy a t shirt. $15 anywhere. You want to buy a Disney shirt, it's $30. You know why? Because it's got, you know, emotion attached to it. It's the same thing with Nintendo. It's the emotion attached to it. They know they could charge you that extra few dollars. So it's got a little pull tab there. Let's open that up. It's got a little tray. So it's, got this, it's in this like little tray that you pull out. It's got the user guide, but listen, who uses instructions or a user guide? Not us. We can move that's that trash. to the side. Yeah, that's right. We don't need that. What is that, a we'll USB-C? I guess this is a, a USB-C or a charger, maybe? I guess um, it's the charger. It's the charger. So it's USB-C, um, which is good. Nintendo's starting to move towards that with the Nintendo Switch and now with the Game & Watch. It's a, it's a quality one. It's you got the Nintendo seal on there, Nintendo logo. Is this what everybody like uses now? It is, USB -C? but like this is this is a decent one. Like This is quality. You don't, you don't want to put that five below yeah, USB-C charger on a Nintendo product. So that's, uh, that's nice. Quality. It's short. Yeah, and it says Nintendo on it, which probably all their products usually do. Yeah. If you put that on a wall, and, and it's, it's probably going to be hanging. It's not going to touch the floor. It's going to be hanging. But it's quality. It's very short, so how are you going to charge? Is it just to charge on the computer? I, well, I guess. I don't know. Not everybody has a computer, but it, like I said, it's going to be hanging from the wall. You could say that the Game & Watch hanging, is good. Right? It's, it's, it's hung. It's hung. Hung. It's yeah. Hung. Yeah. <laughs> about hung. That's how you charge it. <laughs> about hung. All right. And the actual unit itself, and I think that's really it. This is it. There's nothing else in there. That's the unit. 
It doesn't smell like anything. I don't know why I smelled it. <laughs> but that's the Game & Watch product right there. We didn't get the NES colors that we got here in the US, but you know, a lot of US people, they, they appreciate that you know, Japanese culture, uh, the original NES or Famicom over in Japan. It's, it's pretty small. It's pretty small. So how am I supposed to wrap my hands around something this small? Um, I, you've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> so just make sure that it is this small, but guess what? It is pleasurable, all right? At least, okay. <laughs> at least I think it is. So let's power it up and see how pleasurable something this small could be, all right? I think this is just one single speaker on the side. Uh, USB-C over here with the power button. Um, nothing on the top or bottom. Uh, power it up. Uh, okay. Mario in the front. I don't hear any music though. Is there volume? Game time pause set. What's he doing? Juggling balls? He's juggling. <laughs> he's juggling. <laughs> he's juggling the balls. So let's try this out and see how pleasurable this actually is. You're probably right. I could probably handle things this small and be satisfied. Okay. I'm pressing. Or do I hit? It says press oh, the I time button. Time button. Oh, time button. Okay. So I was like, how do you turn it on? That you usually hit A. All right, so it's actually asking us to set up the time, so that's what we'll do. Oh, okay, you press, I thought I was pressing I, time, it wasn't doing anything but else. it's changing the landscape. We're figuring this out as, as we go along. That's why it's unprofessional box. Just open it. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's the same experience as when you opened the box for the first time. Oh, uh, set time. What time is it? Um, let's see, 3.59. Okay. We're set. Oh, there oh, you go. Did it. Okay. All right. That beeping is annoying as crap. Yeah, this is what's going to be the whole time. Is this supposed to stay on the whole time? That's what I want to know. If you're going to tell the time, you got to power it up. I wonder what the battery life is like. All right. So let's let's try again. I'm trying to figure out how to. It just keeps telling me what time it is. So do I maybe just hit? Do I just set it? Because it still says 3:59. Um, I There's think. No way. It's 3:59 still. It's been. It hasn't been a minute. I guess. Hold on. Okay. What are the Yoshi's doing? Oh, they broke it. Oh. It's four o'clock. Four o'clock now. Maybe if you hit that button that says game, it'll bring you to the game. Probably. That probably makes sense, right? Well, there we go. So you want to play Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario Brothers 2 or ball? <laughs> <laughs> so there's an option that just says ball. So if you say you're so good at pleasuring small things, why don't you play with that small ball game? <laughs> That's the one I wanted to play. A. Game A. So. So you just have to move him left and right. Catch the balls. So just left and right? Yep. Go we'll catch the ball on the right. Alright. And this is a high score game. This this was the original game and watch stuff. How am I doing with catching the balls? Um well you <laughs> You gotta use both hands. And you know it's two balls too. They couldn't just add the third one in there. That's the What 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 <laughs> third one? I guess all that is is juggling two balls basically. Yeah, it's it's like one of those things that you got time to waste. You can just yeah. waste some time playing the old school games. But uh, let's try out how the emulation is for one of the Mario Brothers games. All right. You can play two players on it? Well, you know, back in the day, you'd alternate the controllers. One controller, you pass back left and right. So now two people are supposed to hold this at the same time? No. You, oh, I see. When you, you become Luigi, <laughs> you pass it to the next person. Oh, OK, I get it. Does it feel slow, like the emulation? It feels a little slow to me, yeah. Huh, no, it like, seems all right, but yeah, Mario 1 wasn't exactly like Sonic now. Yeah, that's true. It wasn't that fast. Maybe I'm just used to the newer games. The music sounds all right. The music's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Like, the first the first one on the Nintendo was actually pretty slow, too. All right, I'm not that good at this one, so. <laughs> there. I <need> to grow. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> You know you can hold B to run, right? I'm trying. It's not, B's not doing Hold anything. it. You hold it, and then... I knew that. While you're moving. I knew that. Oh, you're right. Well, maybe that's why I'm going so slow. <laughs> <laughs> Tina, has, apparently, Tina hasn't played it since 1985. Apparently, I don't know how to play Nintendo. Tina's like, no. I, my Nintendo was Super Nintendo. She, you said your first system was Super Nintendo, Super right? Super Nintendo, yeah. yeah. In 1985, I was just born, so... All right, now what I want to see is if I can actually play this hard, super Japanese Mario 2 from Japan. Because again, we're stupid Americans who don't have 
brains I mean, this is a... like that can are capable of playing hard games. <laughs> yeah, apparently. You know, so for the Americans, you cannot, uh, so you cannot is, play Mario Brothers 2. This is supposed to be the Japanese version of the game? This is the Japanese version of Mario 2 when we got the Doki Doki no Panic, I think it was called, and then they put the Mario characters in there instead, and mm -hmm. that's when we got our Mario Brothers 2 where you're hitting people with turnips. Oh. Yeah. What? Oh, that was hit and start. What you gotta just hit A. A? See, look, look Tina, See, you schooling me. Schooling me. Talking about me. Okay. Hit the B button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this a... No, I, know, I know there's like poisonous mushrooms in this one, I think. Oh, see? That one. That one's whack as hell. It's sus. Ah. Uh -huh. It's sus. What color is it? It was like I dookie mean, brown. Oh, <laughs> uh, what color? Okay. <laughs> Tina with the... Uh... Oh, no! I just killed myself. I legit just killed myself. I can't what? go in. How oh wait, oh no, I thought oh, I was okay. I thought I was trapped because I saw that little green thing, I thought I was trapped. Because I don't talk crap. <laughs> that's not me. Yeah. Oh! oh you died. I guess. How did you die? I guess I'm a stupid American who can't play hard games. So Tina, what do you think about the game and watch, color screen, Super Mario Brothers, edition, collectors, Famicom, gold and red? Uh, probably not gonna play it. Keep it in the box. Collector's edition, $129 on eBay when it's actually $49.99. I like it. Uh, I think I think it's a little small, but it's probably meant to be small. <laughs> so like back with this small thing. Um, I know, yeah, it's meant to be small. It's meant to be in your pocket. Bring it with you. Have the kids play it. Yeah. You know, nostalgic. Let them play something that you played when you grew up. Here's the only problem I have with this. It's $49.99. Yeah. She was a little mad when she saw that on the bank account this morning. She was like, what the did he buy Best Buy for $49.99? And I was like, it's this thing. And she was like, that thing for $49.99? Seriously, what? What, you know what we could have done with $49.99? I think that maybe like a $39.99 would probably be a better price. Just that's $10. I don't even think that. Or even that. a $29.99. $29.99. This thing is absolutely ridiculous for the price. It is plasticky, it's chintzy, uh, the speakers are only mono, it's not like stereo speakers. Not I mean, you. You got that animation for the clock, but you you don't have like an always on feature. Um, but that said, I love it. <laughs> it's Nintendo, and who doesn't love Nintendo? Seriously though, it's cool to have a piece in your house to show your friends. You have a child, you want to you know bring back some memories with Mario. I don't, there's no memories of Mario 2. That's yeah. something new for us here in the U.S. But it's cool. It's cool to have if you're a collector. This is a nice little collector piece. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. I think that this is more of a collector's piece and that people will pay more money for collectors. Yeah, but 50 bucks, I think it should have been maybe aluminum instead of this plastic. Yeah. I think maybe it should have included some other games with it. But I heard, I heard that it's already hacked. So maybe yeah. we gotta hack it and we gotta put some other games in here. I don't know what the memory capacity on, on it is, but we're gonna find out soon. And if we can hack it and get a bunch of other stuff in here, then $49.99 is worth it. it. Yeah. But you know, maybe we'll have an update video on that once it's hacked. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got this yourself, is it worth the is it worth the 49? Did you pick it up yourself? Are you collecting it? Is it just sitting on yourself? Did you not open up this cool plastic thing here? Because I know people are gonna buy this and they're never gonna open it and it's gonna sit on the shelf. Yeah, just because they like the plastic, basically. Yeah, let me know. Are you playing the thing? Did you spend the $50? Or was it worth it to you? If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more from us, or just you know more from her, you put hashtag Team Tina in the comments. Uh, and then you also hit that subscribe button. And when you do that, you'll be alerted about our future videos because those will be in the future. Um, or maybe you won't be alerted. Who knows what YouTube now is? It's, it's ridiculous. Now. So. The future. The future is now. <laughs> That's like Tina's favorite quote. The future yeah. is now. The future is now, old man. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, we love you guys um, in a very platonic we way. We love you guys. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> we'll see you next time.